I've always been a proponent of taking probiotics after a course of antibiotics, but recently Dr. Michael Greger shed light on why this is perhaps the last thing we should do. The logic I had was antibiotics wipe out your gut bacteria, along with the harmful bacteria that's causing infection, so surely a probiotic can help to restore and repopulate your good bacteria. But actually as I started to research this, there was very little evidence suggesting probiotics actually work if taken this way. What researchers have found is that taking probiotics after antibiotics can in fact delay your gut health recovery. This study found that even among healthy people, taking probiotics after antibiotics was not harmless. In fact, they inhibited the recovery processes that they're supposed to improve. The researchers gave 21 participants a course of broad-spectrum antibiotics for one week. After this, they had a colonoscopy and an endoscopy to investigate the state of their microbiome throughout the gut. As we would expect, there were lots of changes that occurred in the function of the microbes, and many that had died because of the antibiotics. Then the participants were divided into three groups. The first did nothing and was on no intervention after the antibiotics. The second group was given a common probiotic for a month. The third was given a faecal transplant, which was a small sample of their own stool, taken before the antibiotics, that was then put back in their colon once the treatment was over. And what was concerning was that the group who received the probiotic had the poorest response in terms of their microbiome. They were the slowest group to return to a healthy gut. Even after five months of monitoring, this group had not yet reached their pre-antibiotic gut health. The lead author said, we have found a potentially alarming adverse effect of probiotics. Another concern is the lack of research on the safety of taking probiotics. For most people, the following concern is not relevant. However, there have been case reports of probiotics causing problems, such as fungus spreading into the blood, among more vulnerable patients. However, this study did find a positive effect of probiotics in helping to reduce the risk of antibiotic-induced diarrhoea. But due to the variation and lack of clarity on which bacterial strains had been used, there was no particular probiotic or mixture of probiotics that could be pinpointed and recommended as working, so perhaps we need to have more studies on which particular bacterial strains are safe and work effectively and that work on a consistent basis. Now it's interesting to note that according to one report, this year, 2024, the probiotics market is predicted to be worth $66 billion. So now let's hear from Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org. A lot of antibiotics actually don't affect the microbiome. They're absorbed in the small intestine. We all know there's specific antibiotics that are meant to stay in the gut and actually intentionally wipe out our gut flora, but that's certainly not all of them. Um, we have this sense that, you know, we're wiping our gut flora left and right. There's actually our gut flora is surprisingly resilient. Within weeks, your natural gut flora is back, unless you were taking probiotics while you were taking antibiotics, in which case you so disturb your microbiome that it can take <laughs> months or uh, you restore your microbiome. So don't take probiotics thinking that you're going to reestablish your gut flora better. We should be eating prebiotics, risen as starch and dietary fiber, to feed the probiotics that are already in our gut, like the acidophilus and bifidobacteria, to make postbiotics, like butyrate and acetate that are absorbed through the colon wall into our bloodstream and have all sorts of amazing functions like boosting immunity and decreasing inflammation, et cetera, et cetera, and boosting muscle strength in frail individuals. We got to feed the good gut bugs that we have. There's no point in putting other new good bugs in there if you do not provide an environment in which they can thrive. So if you starve your good fiber feeders, then adding more fiber feeders, they're still going to starve. You just got to feed the ones you have and they will be fruitful and multiply. Many tips on repopulating my gut after a course of antibiotics, taking probiotic supplements actually makes things worse, actually delays the rebalancing of your gut flora, which is uh, something that uh, I discovered in researching how not to age. I check out my probiotics chapter. All we can do is just start feeding. Uh, I mean, there's certain antibiotics that absorb in the small intestine don't really affect most of the gut. But if you're experiencing gastrointestinal symptoms, I'd make sure you get lots of prebiotics to feed the uh, stragglers. Uh, you know, we're not sterilizing the gut. You just may, your gut microbes may take a hit. So you feed them lots of good food and they will be fruitful and multiply on their own.